Oh, the Huntsman. Too often mistakenly placed into the meme tier of subclasses alongside Trollgers and Fat Scouts. But I'm here to tell you that the masses have it wrong. With enough practice, Huntsman is perfectly viable and able to carry games alongside the best of them. I mean, look at me all the way up here. Look at how rich I am compared to all of these peasantly power classes below me. Look at that damage. You ever see another pick class put up numbers like that? Spy players can't even count that high. So, if you want to learn the secret recipe to my success, stay tuned to get your notebook out. And if you're just here for entertainment, feel free to skip around to the sections you're most interested in. Now you may be wondering what the point of learning Huntsman is. Wouldn't your energy be better spent just building muscle memory on the hitscan rifles so you can lock down servers and carry games even harder? Uh, yeah. If your only objective is to play competitively and grab as many dubs as possible, then the Huntsman isn't for you. But consider this, when exposed to rewarding stimuli, the brain responds by increasing the release of the neurotransmitter dopamine. The Huntsman might as well be an Oxycontin dispenser. Get good enough at it, and you might experience withdrawals trying to switch back to rifle. One. Two. Sniper. Soldier right there. Count of three. And. And. Yay. Yay. Boy. Four! It's Hail's own, baby! <laughs> The Huntsman is the only alternative sniper primary that truly gives him a unique subclass to play. As you can see by looking at the stats on the wet. Ooh. Guess Valve hasn't yet found the time to write those. Anyway, all the other stock alternatives boil down to scope and click. But the Huntsman is more old school. It doesn't have a fancy scope to help you aim. Hell, it ain't even hit scan. The Huntsman shoots a projectile arrow that arcs downward along its trajectory. It does have a few commonalities to the rifles, namely the ability to charge a shot and headshot enemies. The Huntsman draws an arrow in one second flat, much faster than the stock rifle's 3.3. It has a lower damage cap of 120 on body and 360 on headshot compared to 150 and 450 on stock. The charge also increases the arrow's velocity, making it a bit easier to aim and account for arrow drop off. You also move faster while drawing an arrow at 53% of your base speed compared to the usual 27% while scoped with a rifle. As we'll see, these differences are significant enough to alter a Huntsman's playstyle dramatically. Let's just be built a little different. Oh, he's so scared. I got him quaking in their boots. As long as you aren't brain dead, you've probably figured out that the change to a projectile system makes it much harder to hit shots the further away an enemy is. Meaning Huntsman snipers don't have that luxury of cowering in the back line picking up freebie kills. Nah. We look our opponents in the eyes as we accidentally dome them with an arrow. I think of Huntsman Sniper as a frontline to midline class. You want to be close to enemies and fighting in the chokes where hitting arrows is usually the easiest, but your 125 health makes it a bit too risky to be hanging dong out there like heavy can. As such, you'll usually be positioning similarly to a medic, relatively safe from the enemy frontliners until you momentarily push up and get that pick. Corner peeking is your best friend when it comes to staying alive and surprising enemies. Either charge your arrow from safety, then creep around a corner to let it rip, or jump charge similar to a heavy's jump rev. Just make sure you change position and vary where you shoot from often to keep the enemy team on their toes. 
These changes in positioning and the lower effective range of Huntsman alter Sniper's class matchup significantly. The Huntsman lets you trade Sniper's usual range safety and hitscan simplicity for a higher risk weapon that charges much faster. Similar to a heavy, a good Huntsman demands respect from enemies close to him, able to one-shot almost anything within a second. Overall, it's not quite as good as Sniper's normal ability to do a near instant 150 at any range, but hey, it's amusing to destroy cocky scout mains with some funny arrows. The two matchups where I can say Huntsman is undoubtedly better than Rifle is against Spies and Heavies. Just by the nature of being on the front lines, Spies can't single you out anymore. Additionally, Spies are usually very predictable when going for their stabs, making headshots extremely easy. Keep your eyes open to 180 often when playing Huntsman. Eventually, you'll start deterring Spies from approaching just by existing. Now, Heavy is already hard countered by a sniper, but Huntsman takes it to another level. An enemy Heavy will be pushing the front line for the enemy team, which is where you'll be as well, meaning he can't really avoid your sightline at all. A revved Heavy is the easiest thing in the world to headshot, and you do 360 after one second of charging. Heavy doesn't have the burst to kill you if you abuse corners when peeking him, meaning he basically won't be able to shoot his gun for more than one second without being in mortal danger. It's not an exaggeration to say that a single good Huntsman stops the enemy team from being able to pick Heavy in any serious capacity. But how on earth do you get good and top score with the Huntsman? I thought that weapon was just fueled by luck and bullshit. Well, as my boy Willie Spear once said, all of casuals a stage, the players merely hit boxes. I'd love to be able to tell you that saying the Huntsman is luck based is just as rash a statement as claiming direct pills or rockets are luck based as well. But there is some truth to the Luxman memes. The hitboxes can be slightly whack. What? What the fuck was that? Hey camera guy, can we run that back? How in God's name was that a headshot? I was trying to shoot the teleporter on the ground. Turns out when you combine the admittedly kind of broken hitboxes with the general spammy nature of the weapon, you find yourself muttering, wait, how did I get that kill? pretty often. However, I'm here to tell you that there is a method to the madness. You can get better at aiming with the Huntsman just as you can get better at aiming with any other weapon. And the better you get, the more kills you'll earn and the less you rely on the random bullshit. You see, most enemies will AD strafe left and right when fighting a Huntsman trying to avoid the arrow. You can actually use this to your advantage, making prediction easier. If I have time, I like to wait until they change direction then quickly do a small correctional flick, leading the shot in their new direction. They likely won't stop or change direction again immediately, meaning if your arrow is on target, there's a good chance it hits. I think most people's woes and struggles with hitting Huntsman shots stems from the fact that charging increases both arrow damage and velocity, meaning there is a variability to the arc compensation and leading distance you need based on when you release the arrow. In the beginning, it might seem easier to always fully charge your shots for the max damage and easier aiming, but mastering Huntsman requires the use of low charge shots as well. Remember, you don't even have to scope in on Huntsman, so an uncharged arrow or twang as I call them will not even slow you down and will still do around 150 to 160 on a headshot. Additionally, many enemies are used to seeing the drawing animation, so they won't expect that instant sauce. Hitting a twang on a spy, scout, or demo knight in melee range is barely harder than hitting a charge shot and will absolutely save your ass in many situations. Plus, hitting medium to long range twangs feels like one of the most disrespectful read you like a book kills you can possibly get in this game. A clear advantage the Huntsman has over its competition is probably the best taunt kill in the entire game. After about a second, the skewer taunt stuns enemies in front of you, letting you get away with some serious bullshit on uber charges. I really hate to end this section on a downer, but playing Huntsman comes with one major drawback. Sorry. On Huntsman, you are downright feeble against enemy rifle snipers. Not only do they have an immense range advantage, but they can easily one-shot you almost instantly without needing to account for travel time or wait for their bullet to get there. Even at mid to close range, they could just wait until you start cocking an arrow, then easily second scope you since you just sliced your move speed in half. 
it's a very one-sided matchup, made even worse by the fact that a lot of sniper players will go out of their way to kill you first. Snipers are generally conditioned to eliminate enemy snipers first, since they usually pose the greatest threat. I recommend avoiding sniper fights as much as possible at long range, and focusing on twangs only when fighting up close. But hey, if you don't care about playing optimally and want to go for it, hitting a very long range huntsman headshot and taunting is a surefire way to tilt some hot headed sniper mains. I can't. I can't, dude. You know, Sniper actually has some decently balanced secondaries, with most of them having at least some niche use case. The Jurati does rise above the rest, and is generally the optimal choice for the Huntsman. We all know how good Jurati is on rifle, but keep in mind as a frontline Huntsman Sniper, you will now always be in throw range. Everybody's played against those annoying ass snipers that chuck this shit out on cooldown, constantly forcing people out of the fights and getting them killed. Jurati also lets you one-shot scouts, snipers, spies, and even medics with a charged huntsman body shot. It's pretty damn good. The second best choice has to be the SMG because it helps cover up a couple of huntsman weaknesses. Once again, you will be closer to enemies where the SMG is best, but it really shines when fighting a light classes, making it trivial to finish off scouts, snipers, and spies after hitting a body shot. Hitting a 125 health class with a fully charged body will leave them at just 5 HP, setting up for an easy 1-2 to two bullet cleanup from the SMG. You can be a little bit more confident in the sniper ditto when using the SMG since you only need to hit a body. Cleaner's Carbine serves the same role as the SMG, but it's just overall a bit worse. If you want to meme a bit, go for it, and remember you can build your Crikey off of NG buildings. My personal favorite secondary and the one that I've spent the vast majority of my time using is the Cozy Camper. Being near the front lines, you are going to take chip damage almost constantly, and the camper helps keep you up and spamming arrows a bit longer. It's the ideal choice for my Huntsman playstyle, which is just non-stop going for stupid picks on the enemies. It lets you have a pleasant and relaxing Huntsman experience, even if there aren't any medics on your team to heal you up. The no flinch bonus does actually apply when you fully draw an arrow, but seeing as flinching doesn't really stop you from aiming on Huntsman nearly as much as it does on rifle, it's just a tiny little plus. If the enemy team has three or more pyros somehow, the Darwin's Danger Shield is an option for that extra fire resistance, but again, while Afterburn is still annoying, it doesn't stop you from aiming like it does on rifle. Unless the enemy team is really stacking pyros, I'd say the camper is overall a better choice than the Darwin's. Finally, although the Razorback is niche on rifle, it's the only secondary that is always bad on the Huntsman. As I went over earlier, you should be closer to your teammates and you aren't tunnel vision with a scope. If a spy manages to backstab you, just up your awareness and kill them next time. An arrow to the face is the only backstab protection you should need. Body shot really fucking hard. That was a flare, dude. I thought it was a crit sticking. <laughs> I thought oh, I no. bumped something. I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> so Sniper, much like Medic, is a class where you never even want to be in the position where hitting a melee is possible. Most of the time when enemies start getting too close, you're better off going for a clutch headshot twang anyways to kill them instantly. But sometimes desperate times do call for desperate measures. The apparent melee choice is Bushwhacker if you're using Jurati or Cleaner's Carbine. Cleaner's Carbine because if you didn't know, you can pop the mini crits, switch weapons, and have 8 seconds of guaranteed melee crits as seen by my friend in this clip. It's a pretty good meme when it works out. If you're using any of the other secondaries, the Shahancha is probably the best since you will be meleeing in desperate situations so you can pick up that free damage boost. Besides that, just use your favorite flavor of stock, be it the pan, ham shank, or whatever the kids are using these days. As somebody who's used a lot of the tribal minshiv, don't bother, it's dog shit. 
Its only use case is tracking cloak spies after you hit them, but as we'll see in the next section, this is entirely unnecessary. Get the fuck out of my sight. Medics hit 120. You don't. You don't. No. The killing of cloak spies is an ancient huntsman technique passed down for generations. As the knowledge was given to me by my forefathers, I now hand it off to you. This skill takes time and effort to pull off effectively, and only people with an extraordinary IQ will be able to master it completely. Once initiated, you must forsake your humanity and corporeal form. The arrow becomes an extension of your body, of your mind. The map is your domain, your playground. Anywhere an arrow has been, you have been. Much like an ant trying to escape the magnifying glass, Cloak offers no protection from an ascended huntsman main. How is that? Oh, oh. Yeah, did you check that? Did you look? Oh. 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 oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Dude! <laughs> 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 Well, I hope I've convinced you to give Huntsman a go, even if it's not quite as good as a cracked out sniper main. As someone who likes my games of Team Fortress 2 to be as interactive as possible, the fewer rifle snipers I see, the better. To me, the Huntsman is many times more entertaining and interesting to play as, with, or against. That's not to say you won't see a fair amount of molding once you get good. If people start calling you out, just make sure to have your laugh taunt ready. In the current bot-infested climate, your chances of getting vote kick for a 3k with the Huntsman is much lower than doing it with a heat maker. So get out there and pin some players to the walls. If you're somehow not satisfied by all the Huntsman in this video, make sure you subscribe to catch all the future content straight from my oven to your doorstep. Also follow me on Twitch if you want to see some mediocre content live. Link will be in the description. Spy, spy on mid, spy on cart, spy on point, spy on point, spy on point, spy on point. Oh, Adam! Get oh, these guys! Put me out! Adam, put him out! Ah. <laughs> He's too far away. I was getting involved, brother. <laughs> <laughs>